Hello friends, welcome to Take Two for Thursday, the 16th of January 2020. I'm Jeannie. So glad you decided to come along for the ride today. Well, you know, Thursdays, a lot of times on Facebook, is Throwback Thursday, or people will just do TBT, and they'll put pictures of themselves when they were younger, or, or maybe a historical moment, that sort of thing. I know a couple weeks ago, I put a picture of my high school graduation photo, and people were like, wow! Wow, is that really you? And, you know, we had a lot of fun with it. But we've been going through some old photos, you know, ever since my mom passed away and we inherited all of her old pictures and things. And I found this, and I'm so excited about it. I'd like to share it with you as a throwback Thursday. This picture right here, can you get a good picture of that? That is me. Yes, that's really me. I was eight years old, and this is me with my bicycle, my Stingray bicycle. It was purple. Can you imagine it's a black and white picture? Because that's usually black and white film was cheaper than color. Tell how long ago that was. But the reason why I'm sharing that with you today is because I'd like to just touch for just a moment about sacrifices. You know, I remember I wanted that bike so bad. I wanted it so badly I could taste it. And I really, really was patient about it, although I kept dropping hints to my mother and father. A Stingray bicycle with a banana seat. Woo! That was that big, big seat. It was called the banana seat. And it was purple. Oh, I wanted that so bad. But it was probably a little bit more than my parents could swing in their budget. Even though it was probably, when I think back about it, it might have been like $20. You know, who knows? But because, that, you know, the, when you're on a tight budget, my mother was a stay-at-home mom, and, and my father, you know, was a hard-working man in the, in the news media, and he would, you know, commute to Manhattan every day. I think he was working at WPIX Television in New York at the time, before he started at CBS News. But, but my point is this. In order for me to get that bicycle, there had to be some sacrifice involved. And, you know, I remember talking to my mother years later, and she said, oh, boy, I remember when your father said to me, Mary, we really need to get Jeannie this bicycle. She, she doesn't ask us for a whole lot. We weren't. Fran and I were not demanding children, like some spoiled kids who every time they see a new toy advertised or their friend has it, they want one too, and then they get tired of it after, you know, a day or two. It wasn't that kind of thing. This is something I, I rode that bike till the wheels fell off, I'll tell you. We didn't ask for a whole lot, Fran and I. So when I the desire was so big for something so special like this, my father really wanted to get me that bicycle. And I will never forget it because it was Christmas morning, that Christmas before this was taken. This might have been taken in the spring of the following year. And I remember my I got up that morning, and uh, there it was, leaned by the tree, by the television set. And, and I thought... This was like, you know, I mean, the greatest gift I could ever possibly imagine. And that's the one day out of the year where I would get up early. And I remember riding my bicycle down the hallway at our house on Fairbanks Avenue in Staten Island. And, and my parents waking up and, and my father saying, oh, she found the bike. You know, my mother told us that he stayed up late. He had to assemble it. He assembled it the night before, probably because assembly cost more if you bought it pre-assembled, he put it together, and there it was, shining right by the Christmas tree. You know, there was a lot of sacrifice involved with that. I'm sure that my father, if he went out to lunch, say, two times a week and carried a brown bag the rest of the week, maybe for a couple of months he, or a couple of weeks, maybe he Brown bagged it every day just so he could take that little bit of money aside that he would use for taking out, going out to lunch and put it aside so that he could get me this bicycle. And when I think about little sacrifices like that, I wonder, I just wonder how many sacrifices they made for us that we'll never know about. But they did it because that was the right thing to do. Now, I want you to think about this long and hard, boys and girls. Are there people in your life that may have made sacrifices for you and you never even give it a second thought? Maybe uh, an opportunity with a with a family where the one of the parents could, they all have good jobs and everything's great and the kids are in school and everything's going well. And then maybe, just maybe, one of them gets an opportunity to maybe take a job in another city and, and that would be a good thing. But on the other hand, 
that might mean way, way, way too much sacrifice on the on the parts of the rest of the family. So that means the person that gets over the job sacrifices and says no. Now I'm not saying that you can't. Sometimes people get uprooted and families move and all that. I'm not saying that. I do know that happens, and especially if it's going to benefit everybody. I'm talking about where you get selfish about something and say, I don't care how it affects the rest of my family or the rest of the world. I'm going to do this because it's for me. No, I'm not talking ab uh, uh, about those those things that you do collectively, sacrifices. I'm talking about selfish things where you don't bother ever doing anything right because it would mean that you, would, you wouldn't benefit from it personally. No, no. The best thing to do is ask yourself, who could benefit all well from this? Can my family benefit from it? And then if you have to make a little bit of a sacrifice because of that, you go ahead and do it. I know my parents probably made countless sacrifices for us that I don't even know about and never will. And, you know, as things have gone on, as time has gone on, I've discovered more and more little things that perhaps my parents might have done for me and my sister so that we could be blessed. And they just did it simply because it was the right thing to do. So, I'm going to ask you right now, go out and be a blessing to somebody today, okay? I'm going to ask you to do that. You may end up being the only one who is. And maybe if you make a small sacrifice so that you could be a blessing to them, it will be worth it in the long run, okay? And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel now, Jeannie Sigler, J-E-A-N-N-E-S-I-G-L-E-R. Hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. You'll be notified every time another Take Two is posted. Every time I see this picture, I will always remember, always, the sacrifices that were made so that I could have this bike. And it's something, here I am, 62 years old, and I can remember this so well 54 years later because it was a sacrifice made for me. And I will never forget that. All right, I love you all very much. I will see you tomorrow. God bless. Bye-bye.